let's make this simple yamarita dish from start to finish so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i made yamarita and also how i made this egg sauce hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is tolani and i'm diary of the kitchen lover for the yamarita you will need peeled yam like this this is what your yam should look like fresh and clean you would also be needing some raw eggs very very important there is no yamarita without egg there is no egg without yamarita or oh, what am i saying <laughs> anyways you're using some flour some cornstarch egg flour cornstarch some people use only flour i'm using some salt some onions some pepper mixture for the egg sauce some mackerel fish mashed mackerel fish i'm using some raw eggs for the egg sauce also salt seasoning powder um yaji i'm using yaji and i'm also using some garlic so these are the ingredients i need for my yamarita and egg sauce all together so in the course of this video you will see how i make use of everything one by one and of course we'll be needing some oil too i forgot to mention that earlier we need some oil for frying also now we start by cutting our yam for my yamarita i want it to be as thinly sliced as possible you know i want the egg and the flour to penetrate properly into the yam so i don't always like um huge you know chunks of yam so i love to slice my yamarita like this and also it is always very filling so i don't want to eat too much you know i don't want to consume too much so it's better i just control my portion by cutting it into small sizes like this so that i know that when i'm on the fourth or fifth stick i am good to go i don't have to eat so much so that's what i'm just doing in this video showing you how i cut my yam for yamarita So now what you want to do is to heat up some water and then you slightly cook the yam. The yam should cook between 5 to 8 minutes. You would pour your yam into the boiling water, season it with some salt, very little salt, some pepper and co. In this video, I seasoned mine with some salt, some yaji, yeah, and some extra pepper and in five eight minutes time i took it out of the heat now while the yam is cooking you want to mix your yamarita mixture so in the egg add some salt add some seasoning add some yaji and just mix together and in the flour add to your cornstarch the cornstarch helps to bind um the mixture very very well some people use only flour but you know that cornstarch is a very strong binding agent so i always had i always love to add cornstarch into my flour mixture so in this video i'm just mixing everything together to make sure that all the ingredients and all the powders are well you know incorporated and well combined together So now guys the yam is ready to take out within five to eight minutes you don't want to cook your yam too much so it doesn't start to break the 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 secret about yamarita is it shouldn't fry for too long on the heat because you know egg fries fast the flour fries fast so you don't want it to brown too much and all that so you want to cook your yam halfway and then coat in egg and then flour so what i'm doing now in this video is i pick one yam stick coating egg first and then coating my flour mixture and go ahead to coating egg again before dropping it on the tray so i'm just going to drop them on the tray to allow the egg and the flour mix together and allow it to sit well before going to fry so i'm just going to repeat the same thing egg first flour then and then egg last it is always very nice like that so that the outer layer of the yamarita can taste like egg and can look very very nice so you just repeat the same thing for every yam stick
now go ahead to eat up some oil when the oil is very well heated up go ahead to fry your yamarita your yamarita should fry properly within two to five minutes it shouldn't take so long to fry and because you have already cooked this earlier you don't need to cook too much you just want the egg and the flour to fry very well so you just keep moving it around in the oil so that you know it fries properly and after like five six minutes please just take your yamarita off the oil so that it doesn't you know burn or it doesn't brown too much you just want your yamarita to look very yummy very very tasty and very attractive also now that the yamarita is ready transfer it into a bowl and allow the oil make sure that you line your bowl with some um kitchen towel so that the oil can drain so it can drain the oil off each sticks of the yamarita now let's go ahead to make our egg sauce egg sauce is very very simple to make but you can make mistake if you don't cook it very well so now heat up some oil in my egg sauce i love to saute some onions first be very generous with your onions i personally love my onions chopped because i don't like to see onions in my food eventually now i'm adding some garlic a lot of people don't add garlic into their egg sauce but please besties just try it once once and come back and thank me later so once they are well caramelized you go ahead to add your pepper mixture for the pepper mixture i have a mix of rodo i have a mix of red chili and bell peppers no tomatoes at all but if you want to add tomatoes i mean tomatoes are even too expensive now so please but if you want to add tomatoes just make sure it's very very little now add your seasoning powder add your yaji and just mix together yes it's egg sauce your egg sauce has to be so extra now you cover the pot and allow this to cook on very low heat for the next five minutes Oh, my licorice pot is so beautiful. I'm just admiring it. So once it is cooked well, you go ahead to add your mackerel fish. Your mackerel fish comes in next. So your mackerel fish, you already boiled it. You already deboned it, like, like mashed it and take, taking out the bone. Now you go ahead to add your mackerel fish into the sauce. Mix it together. Who else agrees with me that mackerel fish in in egg sauce is always a heat if you watch this video to this moment besties type egg sauce in the comment section type egg sauce in the comment section don't tell anybody don't tell anybody don't tell anybody type egg sauce in the comment section let's see who watched this video to this point now once this is well fried go ahead to add your egg your raw egg you can salt the raw egg before mixing and don't just go ahead to add the egg sauce reduce the heat please don't cook on high heat so that the egg doesn't fry too much you want the ingredients and the mixture from the uh, pepper sauce to mix properly into the egg so you don't want the egg to fry separately while the other one is frying separately you want them to marry each other and mix well so this is what you get very yummy very tasty extremely yummy and here is what your yamarita should look like after frying it looks very well put together it looks very tasty and it looks very yummy so besties tell me are you going to try this it's a perfect breakfast inspiration it's a perfect lunch inspiration it's a perfect dinner inspiration in fact you can have it any time of the day thank you for watching this video if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel this is enough reason for you to subscribe if you are new you are automatically called bestie because that's what i call all my community members i love you guys so much thank you for watching all my videos you've made being consistent on youtube very very easy for me thanks for engaging and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks besties bye